Good morning in the Chilean side and good afternoon in the European side. Good morning. Morning. Welcome to our matchmaking event in the context of the network project call that we're doing together with um, Austria, Belgium, France and Spain and Chile, of course, we are hosting this. And um, here we have uh, our NPCs from all the um, from the countries that are participating from this call. We are very happy to have you here. Here in the in Chile, it's very warm. However, in European side, I guess it's very cold. <laughs> Morning, everybody. Great. We have a lot of people in here. We're very happy. Okay. So, um, just before we start um, the presentation um, and some context, uh, I would like to introduce myself. So, my name is uh, Jocelyn Olivari. I am the innovation CEO at Corfo, which is the main development agency that promotes innovation here in, in Chile. Um, I would like to introduce also my, my colleagues from the agencies from the other countries. Um, here I see Nolwen. Nolwen, I don't know if you can say hi from BPI. France. Hello everyone. Yes, from BPI French representing France. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, Nolan. Um, Austria. We have I, I assume Michael here, Michael yeah. Walsh. Hello, welcome from Austria. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Great. Thank you, Michael. Um, also we have uh, from Belgium, we have uh, here uh, Leaf from Lyon. Hello all, very good. And thank you, Jocelyn, for organizing the matchmaking today. I hope we have a lot of successful contacts. Yes, thank you, Liv. I saw also Stein. Stein. Hello, um, from... I hope you can see me. Do you yes. hear me? Yes. Okay, uh, welcome from uh, uh, Brussels, Belgium. Eh? I'm the colleague with uh, Liv. We try to uh, help all Belgian companies in this matchmaking. Perfect. Great. Um, also on the um, Belgian side, uh, I guess we have Fabrice, maybe, or Julie. This other guys from Bras the rest of the Brussels, maybe not. But we have Oscar from the Spain, Sledi. Hello, Oscar. Hello, hello everyone. Good to see you again. It's a pleasure and to share with you the, the webinar. Hi, Oscar. Also, we have Francisco Sanchez. Hello, Oscar. Yes, good morning to everyone. Great. Okay. Uh, perfect. Uh, so here is uh, all the all the agencies. Um, let me just. Um, start the presentation so we can go through it. Just give it one second. Okay, let me just move in here and we'll start in one second. Yes. So, let me just share my screen and then view. Those kind of notes. Right. Great. Do you see the presentation properly? Can you see? Yes. yes, we do. Perfect. Great. Okay. Let me just start with some with some context of this um, network project call. Let me just jump um, with. Um, this is, will be the agenda. I uh, will have some, just the welcome. We already did it, uh, introducing our, all the agencies that are participating from this network project call. Then we're gonna um, 
go into some context because now we are in the first phase, the international phase of, of the application. So I'll go through some details for you to have um, have them on, on your mind. Then we're gonna move to, to the matchmaking in which you will be able to interact um, with some with some other companies and some other firms um, in actually in thematic breakup rooms uh, according to what you uh, mentioned in your registration form um, um, related to the topic that you are interested um, on develop in developing in the in your project and then we're gonna go through some wrap up okay so just a reminder of what is the Eureka network is this intergovernmental organization that aims at fostering uh, the development of R&D and innovation that is uh, aimed at reaching the market, okay? And this is a network that works to facilitate and encourage the coordination and collaboration between innovation um, agencies uh, with the aim of fostering productivity and competitiveness of the European network and also um, um, to the countries that are member of, of this uh, big network that already has more than 45 members, I think it's 46. So we follow a bottom-up approach in which we hear and try to foster and support the projects that are um, developed also uh, by mainly by firms um, in the technological areas that um, in, in, in specific sectors that um, are driving force for the development and competitiveness of, of this um, of these countries. Um, sorry. Um, so in this context, um, why Eureka, why this is an agency that is um, relevant uh, for all of us is first uh, this network through its different innovation agencies that are enrolled in this, in this network fosters um, the collaboration of innovation projects by um, providing um, support and also funding um, to R&D and innovation projects. Uh, also, um, they are uh, aimed at uh, uh, supporting the reaching, uh, how, how this project can reach the targeted markets uh, in the, uh, um, associated with the countries that are part of this, of this calls. And also, um, it's, um, it's, its work is to um, accompany and support uh, through the funding, which could be subsidies, uh, matching grants, or loans um, to support the development of the projects that are developed by the firms. Um, in this context, uh, Chile uh, actually last year came back to the uh, Eureka network and together with the countries that I already mentioned, Austria, uh, Belgium, Spain, and France, we launched this network project call with, um, with these innovation agencies. And we are fostering this um, the the application of uh, R and D and innovation projects that are open uh, in, in 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 it's open to all areas um, where uh, that is uh, relevant also to the market potential of the countries that are participating from this call. So we launched this call in the, in December. And now we are very close to um, the, the, the closing phase. So uh, yes, we opened it on the 11th of de December. We are in the international phase now. Um, the closing of this uh, phase is uh, on the 24th of February in which you will have to apply your project through the, um, through the, the, the link um, from, uh, from Eureka. Uh, the smart simple platform and once we uh, receive all the, the applications then we will go through our the, the mpcs of of um, the the agencies that are involved in this and this call are going to review each of your applications and you can expect um hearing from us the latest by the by may, may uh, march uh, 17th 
So um, let me just go very quickly um, through the um, this um, the, the context that is related to the the application that it's um, embedded into the, this first part. So um, some things that you need to to know: the first, the project that you apply should have at least two independent companies from two different countries uh, that are participating uh, from this call. So at least two, it could be three or it could be four uh, from different countries, but at least it should be um, uh, two companies from two different countries. So it could be a Chilean with a Belgian firm, et cetera. Um, of course, in, the, in, this, in this project and the content that you are exposing and that you are presenting, should, um, there should be a verified advantage and value added um, that is related to the cooperation and collaboration between the countries involved in this and um, this specific um, project and very important the contribution of all participants um, uh, it, that are involved in the project must be significant at least 30% uh, of the total cost of the project, which is going to be divided between what what one company and the, the other company is um, is um, budgeting should at least be 30% the participation. Okay. Um, then, what what are you when when you apply to the smart simple platform uh, uh which is um the online platform where you will have to uh, upload all the information that it can um give all give us all the details regarding the 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 content of 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 your project you will be um asked information uh, regarding in general about your 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 project some general information about the firm so about the project about the sector in which you are uh, focusing uh, a second part is related to the impact and the business model behind um, your 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 project and your the prototype and the idea that you want to put forward um, on the third um, dimension we will have a look and you will be asked to let us uh, to let us know about what is the R&D content? What is the disruption uh, on the innovation uh, arena? Also, we need to uh, verify that this is excellent and this is really value added uh, behind the idea that you are putting forward. And in the fourth um, uh, area, we're going to verify also the quality and the efficiency of the implementation. And let me just um, jump into um, later on some, some details on these four areas related to the content of, of the project. So here is what I was mentioning, uh, your application of the project, this collaborative innovation project, you will have to uh, apply through the um, Eureka platform. This uh, here it is the uh, smart simple platform, you will have um, um, you will have it um, in, in, in the link. Maybe the team can add it also in the, in the chat room. And um, then, sorry, here. Let me just go now through the details on each, um, on each criteria. So we are going to ask you in the general information to give us some information on, on, on the aim of the, of the project, which is the, the objective and the aim that you want to accomplish through the project. Uh, describe it a bit more in detail so we can have a, a, an, an idea on, on what are you uh, thinking on regarding this uh, this idea, what is the market? Um, the, which is the market that you are aiming to, that you are targeting, and what is um, the positioning? Also, what is the impact of your project uh, related to to, uh, to to your project and the market, uh, and some extra information that you will find in the annex of this um, of this platform. Then uh, we will dive more into, into detail regarding the impact uh, on the business model. Again, some more detail about the market. What is the um, added value of your project? Uh, what is the competitive advantage uh, here uh, also and, and, and in terms of your firm and what are you bringing also 
to the um, to the arena now with your project, uh, some marketing plans, some returns on investment, and some geographic and sectoral impact that you will accomplish with um, this project, and some, of course, entry barriers. Everything that has to do with how you um, are thinking and planning to enter the market uh, this, as, as these projects are aimed to reach and impact the market in, um, of the countries that are related to this call. It's very important for us uh, to understand um, what are you uh, thinking about the business model and what are the obstacles that you may um, find throughout your, your, the development of your project and how you are planning to tackle them such that um, they have a higher probability to reach the market and impact on the um, competitiveness of each of our countries. Also, regarding the excellence, and uh, particular in terms of R&D and uh, innovation, so what is the degree of innovation? What is, is it novel to the sector? Is it novel to the firm? Is it novel to the country or to the world? Which is the technological maturity? So it's at which technological uh, readiness level it is. It starts at four, it aims at reaching seven, it starts at five, aims at uh, ending in at TRL eight, et cetera. Okay, so it's very important that we have a, a, a good idea where is the um, where does the project start and where are you aiming to to end which is the knowledge generation that is gonna um occur because of this project particularly when this uh, r&d involved which are the technological challenges that you need and you are aiming to address and um, such that this technological um developments can actually become into an innovate, innovative solution that is tackling an, an important problem. Of course, everything, uh, innovation and R&D, everything that is related to something, the development of something that is new uh, has some degree of uncertainty. So we want to have a bit uh, more idea on which, in which areas are you facing uncertainty and which, of course, is going to be um, addressed through the project and also uh, the state of the art. What do you know uh, regarding the topic that you are um, jumping into in this project? And at the end, some, uh, some information regard, uh, regarding the quality and efficiency of the implementation. So, okay, is, this is more to understand what are the capabilities of the partners that are uh, in, in, involved in the, in the project. So, uh, what is your background, your technical background? What are the technological capaci capacities and the capabilities that you have um, uh, that you bring as a firm and also maybe some other uh, partners that you are bringing into maybe some research centers, some universities that are coming with you in your project that will complement, of course, the capacities that you have. Um, what are the, 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 the resources that you are bringing um, of course, there's going to be some funding from us, from the innovation agencies in the form of matching grants or loans. But of course, there should be also some money involved, some resources that you are investing, uh, not just um, financial resources, but also human resources. So what do you bring in terms of new resources and you're putting um into the um, into the project and also what's the infrastructure that you have um, that will prove of course that you have the um, capacities technical capacities and all that you need to uh, successfully develop your projects also um how are you gonna benefit also from the um, from the project so uh, each partner that is participating and, and maybe some other partners that you're bringing uh, with you uh, will benefit right from the results of the projects and we need to know also how you are um, uh, foreseeing this in terms of how are you gonna uh, rip the benefits and rip the results of what is being developed in the context of this project also how you're gonna develop this the methodologies how you are gonna uh, organize the activities and di different initiatives and R&D um, activities, for example, and 
piloting of some technologies maybe that are gonna um, help you uh, tap into the objective that you presented at the beginning, okay? Maybe some milestones also and results to have everything super planned. Okay, so after doing these activities and we're going to test these and through these activities, we're going to reduce the uncertainty, right? And then we aim at opt uh, obtaining these results. And maybe once this is um, uh, tackled, some uncertainties and some challenges, and once we uh, get these results, maybe we're going to move forward with something else and we're aim at uh, um, getting into this second degree or extra results and then uh, at the end how you're going to reach the goal that you um, for foresaw at the beginning. Uh, then of course um, the project budget because we need as mentioned before I need to we all need to verify that each company at least um, is, um, is participating with at least 30% of the total cost of the project. So we need um, a description and a division of the project budget. And also uh, because we assume that there's some novelty in this, in this, in this project, uh, there should be a strategy to protect the intellectual um, um, results that you are developing the, in the context of this project. So of course, intellectual property strategies are very important for us. And uh, also not for us, also for you to uh, ensure that you are able to appropriate from the efforts that you and us are making in the development of your project. Okay, so this is basically uh, the, uh, in, in, in general terms that in the, the information that you will be asked in the um, online application form regarding to this, uh, this project. Cool. And uh, of course, if you have any uh, extra um, questions, uh, each of us, the NPCs, the National Project Coordinators, we are more than happy to assist you and um, on, on all the inquiries that uh, may emerge you. Uh, because remember, the, um, the deadline for application is on the 24th of February. Um, okay, so um, regarding the matchmaking, uh, this, of course, you know, this is a collaborative project between at least two firms from the five different countries that are participating from this call. And uh, one of the key um, things that you must uh, have into consideration is finding your right partner. This is key to develop a successful project. So you need to find the right partner. And we're, we're doing, and it did, and it is, is, is just, um, the main uh, idea of this online meeting that we're having today, is to help you interact with some other firms from different countries that could become your partner. Maybe you already find your partner, maybe you have a couple of partners and uh, in here you will be able to interact with them. Uh, we have uh, um, some platforms that can help you find your right uh, partner. We have one in Corfo um, that is right here. And sorry, uh, we have some uh, one in Corfo and also uh, some, uh, some companies and some agencies are helping us. Uh, for example, Euro Chile, uh, in the case of Chile. Also in, in Austria, we have uh, the European Enterprise Network, which is helping different countries um, uh, to, um, to, to find the right partner, uh, help and assist in the matchmaking uh, process. We have Spain using this, also France. Um, uh, in Austria, in Austria, also they they have this. Um, also in Belgium, they have different um, um, platforms that are helping with the um, with the matchmaking. But also in Corfo, you will all all firms from different countries can also um, enroll themselves in this in this platform that we have put forward for everybody to find their their right partner. Sorry. Um, let me just um, let you know because when you registered in this uh, in uh, to this event, we asked you to um, choose the topic or the sector in which you are uh, thinking of developing your project. 
So we have uh, this kind of, we have eight different thematic rooms. One is related to agriculture and forestry. Then we have a circular economy, energy, green hydrogen, green infrastructure, and industry 4.0, logistics and transport, environmental technologies, and maybe some other um, topics um, that are not here in the list. So what we're going to do right now is to um, split into the rooms according to all these thematic rooms. Each uh, There's going to be one national project coordinator or some other support uh, supporting staff in each of these rooms in order to participate from the discussion. So uh, every firm that is interested in, in, in a specific topic can go and jump into this thematic rooms, but you can move into rooms. So if you're interested in circular economy and also on energy, you can participate in there. You can engage and interact with the firms that are already, that have also, um, are also participating in this room. And then you are free to jump into other, other room. Okay, this, uh, this is uh, aimed at um, encouraging uh, the collaboration and interaction uh, between you firms that are interested on submitting a proposal um, to this network project call. Okay, so um, this is what I have to do. And I'm going to stop presenting uh, so we can have more time to stop sharing. Okay, so we can jump now into the thematic rooms.